Well, Sarge and I would like to welcome you to another installment of Conversational Shaving. Isn't that right, Sarge? prep my face with some of this 3P cream. I think I got enough of it there. Um, I get tired of running out of the little con of the 3P in the little containers, so I bought a big one. There's a lady down the hall. She likes to get the empty containers and jars and things, bottles, from some of my shaving products uh, due to their foreign nature, uh, foreign to us here in the United States. And and, and there's art on them like this guy there and uh, this stuff is uh, made in Italy as it says right there above my finger made in Italy so that's very nice my razor today is going to be this I just got it and it cost me a hundred dollars plus uh, shipping and uh, tax and so forth if there's anything besides shipping and tax I don't know but it was a little over a hundred dollars altogether then it's this Gillette Sheraton and uh, in there on its second use, because I've used this once already, would be one of these Gillette Blue Blades. And uh, it's my only open comb, twist to open Gillette razor. So it's very nice. I'll uh, set this aside. And my cream today is going to be this, uh, I just got this too, I haven't used it yet. The Walita or Valida, I think this is uh, from Germany. Uh, yeah, it's made in Germany. It's a Valida uh, shaving cream for men right there. And let's see, um, my brush is going to be this uh, Simpson Trafalgar T3 synthetic brush with the sovereign knot as they call it. And I've lathered up uh, in this, it's the Vanule uh, shaving bowl. So I'm gonna try to get a lather going on my face here and I hope you're all doing well out there. I'm just going to kind of paint it on, I guess, here. This stuff, I don't know if it lathers all that well, but uh, it seems like, uh, seems like something about it. Uh, I don't know if it was on the, I don't know if it was on the uh, tube itself or somewhere. It had a picture, I think, of a shaving brush and, and said to use it with a brush, I believe. So that's what I'm doing, in case anybody's wondering, or wondering why. I think you could apply this with a brush or with your hands, but it seems to work fine with a brush, better than some creams that are just not to be, not meant to be used with a brush at all. This, this is all right. And uh, let me sit that aside, kind of wash off my hand there. Hi there, how's it going? I'm still here, I'm just preparing. And now let me wet the razor. And uh, we'll begin pass number one, which will be with the grain. And by the way, three days worth of growth here. So here we go. I think this is a new old stock blade. I don't know. I don't know that they make these Gillette blue blades anymore. I kind of think they don't. I had a good shave yesterday. And uh, I'm not sure what to make of this blade. I've never used a Gillette blue blade before. Uh, before three days ago when I used this. I used it in this same razor, of course. And uh, I'm really not sure, even after using it once, I'm not sure what to make of it. I, I did get a decent shave, probably BBS. It was at the very least probably the upper tier, the upper echelon of... Uh, 
uh, of DFS, darn fine shave, as I say. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse the razor. <laughs> kind of shaved in three days. I forgot the order I normally use. I think maybe I, I don't know, maybe I go here first or, or second, I mean. But right now I'm just going to shave the neck area and under the sh under the sh chin, not shin, under the chin. Still kind of getting used to this razor and the blade. I don't know if I should have used a different blade. But I've only used this old blade once and it doesn't seem as smooth or quite as good to me in my experience as a new old stock Gillette thin blade that comes in the red package. So maybe I should have pulled one of those out and set this blade aside for future use, I don't know. but. I thought I'd go ahead and use this blade again a second time. Because you know, you can use, usually you can use double-edged blades three, four, maybe even five times. And if you get a really good one, as I've had a couple of times, kind of the opposite, the polar opposite of a dud blade. I've had, like one time I had a Persona blade, Persona Lab Blue blade give me uh, 10 good shaves and one not so good shave. That was when I knew to throw it away. Excuse me. I've only got one other uh, twist to open, uh, open comb razor and that is a pearl, it's a type of pearl razor from India. And the tines on the cone of that a comb. On the comb, I mean, the tines on the comb of that other razor, I think they might be a little bit bigger than these here. And these tines are not pointed at the end uh, like the ones I th think that are on the, my only other Gillette open comb razor, which is an old Gillette single ring razor, as they would call it, two piece or three piece, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think from two or three piece, now I can't remember, uh, from 1920, an old one. This razor, by the way, is supposed to be from uh, night, somewhere between 1937 and 1939. I think it might have been before the uh, number and letter date code. There might be a different kind of date code on here. But I'm just going by what the vendor on eBay said. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'll be right back for pass number two across the grain. Okay, we'll go across the grain now. And uh, this uh, cream has a very light... Uh, almost medicinal uh, smell, and, and not strong medicinal by any means. I mean, just a hint of something almost medicinal, like it might be medicinally good for your skin. That's just me smelling that. You might not smell that at all. Very light, almost soapy scent, too, and only about a one or two, probably a one out of ten on scent strength. It's a very light, two at the most, out of ten for scent strength. I don't know if it's a good idea to shave over, a, over spots as much as I do, but I was trying to... Uh, trying to shave until I heard no more audio feedback. 
in that direction, this across the grain direction. Anyway, I may have to get some more cream and put it in the bowl and lather it up or, or what not. Yeah, it's a little bit rough, but this is an open comb razor and I'm still on the fence about this blade. Right now, I, I, Going by uh, the other shave a few days ago and this shave, I, I still say I can only give the blade maybe about a C if I were grading it. Funny how some new old stock blades are not that good and then I've had some that were just wonderful considering that they were old and, and, and well and, and never used of course that helps but uh, <laughs> you don't want an old blade that somebody used 40 or 50 or 60 years ago or whatever that would be kind of nasty I guess or pointless even if you put the thing in barbicide I think it's like having a fountain pen. Your writing angle may be different than somebody else's and you'll wear the nib down in a different way. Same with blades, same with well, razors themselves aren't supposed to wear down that much, but they might get a certain uh, kind of patina, a certain well pattern of patina, depending on what your face is like, the contours of your skin, and so forth. That's it for that pass. I'll come back for pass number three, against the grain. Okay, let's go against the grain. Kind of having to do some more short choppy strokes with this razor and this blade on this particular shave. This old blade seems serviceable but far from perfect, if that makes any sense. Some gentlemen would say just just bend that thing, or, you know, it's a way of saying, I think it's a across the pond way of saying, throw it in the trash, get another blade. But I'm stubbornly going to continue through this shave with this blade, for better or worse. It's, it's not the most comfortable thing, but it's, it's, it's like, uh, it's not so bad that you're just like, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, I'm going to bend the blade and, and, and get a new one and screw this. <laughs> it's not that bad. It doesn't hurt. It's just that I've had more comfortable shaves. Well, at the same time, there have been moments in this shave where I felt that this razor was being far more comfortable to use than it was the first time I used it three days ago. Excuse me. Yeah, it's kind of amazing to think that uh, Gillette was making uh, twist-to-open razors uh, way back in the 1930s. I'm, I'm far from an expert on these kind of things. Even though I, I own quite a few razors, I just, uh, I'd have to do some Googling. 
or you can if you're interested. I would like to know when the first twist to open Gillette safety razor was introduced, when it was first manufactured and sold. I'm going to guess the late 1930s, or no, the late 20s or early 30s, That's, but that's only a guess. I don't know. I, I would have to Google that. What is it the conspiracy theorists say? Do your own research. Okay, I'll go over here now. This side of my face, which would be my right, no oh wait, no oh wait, It'd be my left, yeah. I'm looking in the mirror, so I'm kind of confused here. This side of my face, at any rate, it seems like it's never been quite as stubbly as that side. Not quite as her suit. And so this was where I was, I guess, because of that, feeling the most comfort on this shave. Let me rinse the razor. You gotta be especially careful above the upper lip going against the grain. Well, I think I'm gonna stop there, pause there anyway. I'll be right back for pickups. Well, uh, Sarge is here with me, and what time is it, Sarge? It's pickup time, buddy. It's pickup time. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you back where you were. He, I woke him from a nice little nap. Okay, it's pickup time, everybody. Got some cream on my shirt there, it looks like. The uh, scent on this cream has gotten a little bit stronger wearing it and being here in the room with it. I guess it can build in certain instances until the scent is maybe two or three. The scent strength, I mean, is right now it's uh, uh, two or three out of ten. But for most of this shave, I could barely smell the cream. It's not an unpleasant scent, it's a nice scent. But I still think I sense a tiny little bit of a medicinal scent. I could be wrong. That could be my nose playing tricks on me, I don't know. I laid Sarge back down on the bed, but he was wanting to come back in here with me, and then I didn't think he would like being in here, so I, I hear him, or I did just hear him, out in the kitchen eating some of his kibble, his dry cat food, in other words. Let me rinse the razor. I'm going to go over my neck again. 
quickly. There's not much residual cream left, so I can't really say that this is a slickness test. And I didn't rinse any of the cream off, it just all came off with the razor, with the shave. I think we're going to call that done, except maybe for a little spot right here. Spot that doesn't want to doesn't want to be BBS there for some reason. Oh, that's better. That's not perfect, but uh, I guess I'd have to say this is a DFS shave, darn fine shave, or just DFS. Saying DFS shave, that's saying like a darn fine shave shave. It's redundant, but anyway, a DFS, uh, yeah, far more than just a presentable shave. Not quite BBS, and uh, I'm going to blame a lot of that on the blade, and uh, I'll be right back with Mr. Tao. Here's Mr. Tao. <sighs> mm. Not a perfect shave, but a pretty nice one. Pretty doggone nice. Nice shave. Yes, sir. Just finish up here wiping my face off, drying it off. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. We'll put Mr. Tal back where he goes and then I'll start a brief recap and put the finishing touches on the shave here. I started off off camera I prep my face with some of this, a huge tub of 3P cream from Italy. Multi-purpose, very nice stuff. And uh, my razor has been this twist to open, non-adjustable, open comb Gillette Sheraton razor from the late 1930s. And uh, in there, on its second use, uh, well, it popped out of there, hang on, let me put that tuck back where it goes, if I can. Hmm. Okay, the, the cellophane is coming off of it. It's a, uh, on its second use, and there's a, there's an envelope there too. Uh, there's the tuck, there's one of the envelopes, the Gillette Blue Blade on its second use. And I guess I'll go ahead and set this razor back in here if I can. I'll set it there for right now. It's pretty dry. I don't think it'll hurt anything. And uh, my cream has been this Valida cream from Germany. Very nice stuff. My brush was this Simpson Trafalgar T3 synthetic brush with what they call their Sovereign Knot. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says, I believe on there somewhere, it says it's a uh, yeah, I think, yeah, Sovereign Synthetic, uh, blah, 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 something handmade, blah, blah, blah. Very nice. Very nice. Worth the money. And I'll dump out the overspill here. I cut it. There's some extra water in there. The, uh, honeycombed, um, interior honeycombed, uh, it's the Vanule, uh, shaving bowl. I used that today. I've had that for a while. Very useful. And let's see, I think I've covered everything, so I'm going to reach over for some of the TM Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Yeah, I'll put this on really quickly. Don't want to go over time here. Very nice. It's the TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel available in stores. Now I'm going to reach over for some of the 
Valida aftershave lotion. I accidentally bought two bottles of this stuff because I thought one of them was a lotion and one of them was just a balm, but it turns out they're the same thing. And I got them from two different vendors. I'm getting some going in my hand here. This is almost, this has some qualities of a balm itself, as you may be able to see there. But let me get that going. I'll even put a little bit on the wrist, although I don't know that, I don't know that this is, oh, it's nice. I don't know if it's meant to be anything resembling a cologne. And again, I get that tiny little hint that might be something medicinal or at least something good for the skin, hopefully. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to put regular aftershave all over your face like I just did, but this stuff has some, seems to have some of the properties of a balm. I'll put the lid back on it and show it to you once again. That's the Valida aftershave lotion. And uh, since the, I believe it was small flower that I ordered some of this stuff from, they sent me a little gift. It's a, a sample of the Valida Skin Food Original Ultra Rich Cream, it says right there. So I'm gonna put some of this on. I may be uh, gilding the proverbial lily here. This may be superfluous, but uh, oh great. Hold on a second, I gotta find a pen and poke this, unless the cap will do it. Oh hey, the cap has one of those little things on it. Sometimes caps have like a little pointy thing in the middle on the top of them. That's for breaking that uh, that foil seal in there. And uh, I got some of this on my finger there. I'm gonna, this is really thick stuff, very thick. So I'm gonna be shiny for a minute. Very thick stuff. I imagine the skin will absorb this just fine. I don't think it's meant to be a balm per se, but it does say it's skin food. I've never fed my skin any kind of food that I'm aware of, not on purpose. I might have spilled some mustard or ketchup on myself, but I uh, haven't purposely given myself skin food. Okay, well there's that. Once again, I'm going to let you go. It's time to go. I'm long past overdue. Peace out.